All right, guys, so we got some bad news today, but we also got some good news to talk about as well. I figured let's start with the bad things first and finish up with the good stuff at the end. And in today's video, we're going to talk about power consumption for upcoming big Navi and the Radeon RX 6000 series. We're also going to discuss what cards AMD might have ready for us at launch. And it turns out AMD have sent out letters to shops and retailers to stop potential bots and scalpers buying up the stocks, which is huge. But let's start with power consumption. And this one, yeah, this one is big apparently. When I saw this article posted by Igor Olasek, I realized something I haven't thought about before, but let's talk about that later. Let's look at the discovery. So the recent figures discovered by both Rogame and Patrick Schur, apparently guys, they are not 100% correctly representing the actual power of the card. And it turns out in the measures, you know, power a bit different uh, compared to Nvidia. So unlike Nvidia's TGP numbers who count for the entire board power consumption, TGP for AMD on the other hand only counts for GPU and VRAM consumption. However, according to Iger, we instead need to look at TBP which stands for total board power and if we look at that we get the total uh, power consumption of AMD's graphics cards. And so yeah, essentially the figures we got to see earlier yeah suggesting that the navi 21 xl and xt having a 255 watt and 220 watt respectively yeah those are in fact only counting for gpu and vram uh, consumption basically so here's the actual power consumption figures provided by Igo wallacek and the breakdown shows that the Navi 21 XT card will feature a power consumption of 235 watts. And this is just for the GPU alone. And if we count uh, everything and add everything up, uh, it turns out the actual power needed for the GPU sums up in a total of 320 watts for the entire big Navi graphics card. And this means, guys, that the 6900 XT will feature the same power figures as NVIDIA's RTX 3080 Founders Edition. However, yeah, the custom cards will be able to go even higher. And there is uh, supposedly a GPU power limit at 270 watts for the custom cards which would also explain the recent reports of AIB models clocking higher than the reference models at around 2.4 gigahertz and so what this means is that the custom Navi 21 XT GPUs are going to feature a total board power of around 355 watts which is comparable to several custom 3080 series graphics cards as well. And this is pretty big guys because it means that AMD's card will be as power thirsty as Nvidia's, which we never, never expected. And the story repeats itself with the slower, lower end Navi 21 GPU as well. And this is possibly the RX 6800 XT. This will feature a board power of 290 watts, with custom models likely to be slightly above that. So essentially we're looking at 290 watts for the 6800 XT. And as a comparison, Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3070 features a total board power of around 220 watts. So there's quite a difference there. Now once I saw this guys, my immediate reaction was there is no way AMD would wrap up the clock speeds and power consumption for no reason. Sure, you can argue that the way that the RDNA2 architecture is structured, it allows AMD to have these high clock speeds and that a lot of sites have been reporting about for the past couple of days, but still, I mean, just think about it. Why develop a card that needs an enormous cooler to keep it cool if you don't have to? I want to stop for a moment and I want to go back to when AMD first introduced RDNA 2 and a specific photo that partly showed AMD's upcoming GPU cooler. And if we take a greater look at this photo here, we see that the cooler has two fans in total and not three fans uh, like the one that Lisa Sue is holding in. So AMD has sometimes in the development process after yeah, the photo was public, possibly changed their mind about Big Navi for yeah, good or worse. Now to me, it feels like they felt they needed more power for Big Navi. Maybe they didn't think Ampere was gonna be this powerful. Who knows? 
Now please guys correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think the reason why we're seeing a triple fan cooler is because of Ampere. I think AMD knows that they can be competitive here, but yeah it requires increased core clock and power consumption as a result, so I think it's pretty obvious AMD is aiming to take up the fight with the top Ampere cards. Now I don't want to go much deeper into this conversation as I feel like we're getting sidetracked here, but there seem to be an enormous group of people still thinking that Big Navi only reaches RTX 3070 performance and this is baffling to me. <laughs> anyway, I feel like yeah, we're getting sidetracked here. We also got some interesting details in regards to the memory configuration and from the look of it, yeah, both Navi 21 XT and Navi 21 XL series graphics cards will come packed with 16GB of GDDR6 memory. The Navi 21 XT will have DRAM chips from Samsung rated at 16 gigabits per second speeds uh, for a total of 512 gigabytes per second bandwidth, while the Navi 21 XL uh, will feature a slightly lower 14 gigabits per second speed, and this will deliver 448 gigabytes per second. And yeah, on top of that, guys, we think that these GPUs will get 128 megabyte worth of infinity cache which should give the GPUs even higher bandwidth figures to boost in high-res gaming performance. Another very, very interesting note is that Iger also mentions that AIB custom models will be available around mid-November and not next year, like we have seen reports about earlier. And this means that soon after launch, we should expect to see more premium variants around or at the end of November. And this is simply because of the similarity in the PCB design, so the 5700 for example reference PCB will apparently look very similar to the upcoming RX 6000 series cards. Thanks to Red Gaming Tech, like Nvidia, AMD might have 3 cards ready for us at this show. This includes the RX 6900 XT, the 6800 XT, as well as the 6800. And so it does seem like, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait for lower end variants until 2021. On the last note here guys, to avoid bots and scalpers buying up the cards, AMD has apparently put together a checklist of things that they have emailed to shops and e-tailers and yeah, I simply love them for this. And here is a screenshot of their message to e-tailers and as we can see, a pretty substantial list of things here. Now big thanks to Paul from Red Gaming Tech who shared this information. Now guys, what do you think about Big Navi, do you think? AMD's got a shot here. Do you think AMD can beat Nvidia? October 28th is the date when the Radeon event is occurring, so yeah, I cannot wait for this. Let me know your thoughts down below.